Stephen, I know you sent me a service request on Kim in regards to um, training in, at uh, Eagle Gate College. And there were some questions that I had in regards to the training. And I made a copy of the printout just to kind of help her go over the um, service request, just to kind of clarify what I was asking for. Um, there were some questions that I had, you know, kind of a more detailed breakdown of the cost of training. And I, because I know you talked about the general training and you prorated it from 11 month of the 18 month program. I want to make sure she has been attending training already prior to your service request, right? She has. Okay. Now, how, when you say, so she's only attended how long of training already? Like when you say, so 18 month program, so she's gone already seven months. Yes, she's in her seventh month. Okay. Now, what has she, what has her progress been like during that time frame? Um, she has made really good progress. Um, she's been able to keep um, the, the straight A's in her program, but um, she attributes it to the one-on-one -on -one um, attention uh, that they've been giving her, the help that they've been giving her one-on-one -on -one through Eagle Gate College. Okay, so is she getting that one-on-one -on -one attention while she's in a classes or is this after classes? Both. They have, sm they okay. have small enough classes that she's been getting the one-on-one -on -one okay. attention. Okay. okay. Um, I noticed that when you did a um, vocational evaluation. She, her overall grade was like a fifth grade level, and I'm a little bit concerned. But like you said, you kind of proved it that she had all a. She'd been able to make it this far. She hasn't had any difficulties in any of her coursework or anything, other than trying to maintain that A grade level. That correct? That's correct. She's well. Actually, it was um, by because of her her low her low uh, academic uh, level of performance. Uh, she chose Eagle Gate College, and uh, it has turned out to be uh, working for her. But um, she has actually not been able to make the the minimum monthly payment that they require for her to be able to continue there successfully, even though she uh, was approved for the Pell Grant and has been able to maintain the, uh, the Pell acceptable level of performance there. Okay, okay. Um, what is their Pell level acceptable of a performance? Um, she would lose her Pell if she falls below a 2.0 GPA or um, does not have the pr show the proper attendance and progress. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um, and I know that Tim, you kind of answered some of the questions in regards to Kim's progress. Um, so the program cost, because I know you wrote down the program cost here. Mm -hmm. You know, with hopefully from. So you're requesting approval to, for assistance from October on, mm -hmm. if we can get the approval taken care of by our district director level of approval. Is this that district director level of approval? Yes, it is. And this was um, uh, in, in response to uh, one of your first questions where you had appended, you were asking for further clarification. And so we, I, I saw that that's, that needed to be added, uh, explaining how the $5,500 uh, right. payments would be made. And so it is by the quarter, and then we've added in there first, second, third, and fourth payments, okay. and the quarter that they correspond with. Okay. That's really critical, because sometimes, um, I know, or sometimes we want to hurry up and rush our service to request. We want to make sure that we're able to break it down so we have a better understanding of what the costs involved in how many payments we're looking at and for how long. So that's what we're kind of looking at. So um, now tell me more about the labor market. I know you kind of answered some of it. Tell me a bit more about what are the requirements, what have you and Kim done? 
to research labor market information in regards to her becoming a graphic designer? Well, we we did look into that together in our, well, we actually had like three, two or three separate uh, planning appointments as we prepared this. Okay. And um, in, in one of them, it was devoted to this, uh, this question we, because I knew it, it needed to be addressed in the service request. And that question is, um, what's the demand for graphic designers? And so, you know, because I, what I had heard was that, you know, it's kind of hard to, to get in, especially in Utah in this area in graphic design. And so we really did scrutinize it. And um, she, uh, together we both did come up with the fact that um, there is, it, it is a one-star rating occupation, but I went over this with her about how what that means is it's, um, there is a strong demand for uh, graphic designers, even here in Utah. We did it specific to the Ogden, Clearfield, Metropolitan Statistical Area, MSA, and and the the wage was good. Um, the explanation that it was given on the website about the labor demand was that it would uh, come not from new jobs openings, but mostly from uh, there would be a lot of job openings of of existing jobs. So I I assume that's from. Uh, um, retirement and those types of things that they are anticipating a lot of openings between now and 2018 is what the the projection was from the from the 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 um, economic data viewer have you looked at like other websites like DWF websites for availabilities of jobs or have you looked at workability dot um, workability.gov and looked up at their website and find out what the job listings are like. I know that um, we get a ton of emails with different job listings that come out nationwide. And we try to, they try to keep it within the state, but I've also noticed that they've expanded out to other states. Um, what have you looked at in regards to employment out of state? We did. We we looked at this. Um, now there are a lot of websites that you can look to uh, for this information, but uh, I thought it was really interesting because my own my own preconceived notions about graphic designers was I thought it was a lower paying job, and um, and so instead it's showing a strong employment out, outlook. It does say with a relatively low wage through um, year 2018 here in Utah. But when we got looking at it, the prevailing Utah wage is 1404 for inexperienced in this area, in Ogden. And uh, then if you compare that to the United States though, the inexperienced uh, uh, starting wage was uh, almost $21 an hour. And so there is, it seems like there is a greater demand um, in other states as compared to Utah. But here, even in Utah, a beginning wage of 1404 um, was something that was appealing to Kim. Okay, okay. Um, what kind of a program is she wanting to try and pursue through the Eagle Gate College? Um, graphic design. But um, what level of training are oh, we looking at? It's requiring a bachelor's degree. So we require a bachelor's degree. Well, I noticed at the beginning that um, you're asking for assistance with completing her graphic design associate degree. And so how does that uh, work? And, and that is right. I'm, I apologize. It, was an asso it is for the associate's degree. And okay. the total program cost is $35,000. Okay. That just for the associate level. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So you're you are asking. Okay. Now tell me about her employment history. Uh, um, let's see. Is this the only job she's ever had? 
Let's see now. She's well. No, uh, previously she went before she came to Voc Rehab. She was working for the schools for the deaf and blind as a bus driver. She was making ten dollars per hour, and um, I would have to refer to my notes okay. on the application as to the reason that. But do you re just based on your memory? You have other um, knowledge just based on the top of your head. You do know that she'd worked other positions. Yes. In other capacity. Now, tell me about her disability um, issue. Um, well, with her, let's see, I probably should have brought my copy, huh? That's okay. <laughs> for, That's the, okay. for this. Um, um, with the employment, let's see, we were looking for... Probably the beginning here. Uh, yep. Uh, what came back on, with her is she is a person living with major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, mathematics disorder, and avoidant personality disorders. Okay. So she currently are, going through treatment to take care of that? or counseling? She is. Um, that's one thing, too, that we felt uh, uh, really good about was the one-on-one the -on -one, uh, treatment that she, or treatment, the one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention that she is receiving from Eagle Gate. As she said that that has been the key to her being able to overcome her, uh, the, the developmental uh, disorder that she is living with. Okay. Okay. And she is receiving the restoration services for each of the other um, disorders that we identified. Where is she getting her counseling? Um, uh, I believe that's through um, Health Clinics of Utah. And what we're doing is APRN and doctor visits and medication management and follow up. Okay, so we're helping with her with that, with yes. that as well. Okay. Now, um, on the service request, I'm trying to remember here, the total amount of the training, like you said, was $35,000, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, she has help grant that she qualify, I guess it's a two-year um, thing that she qualifies yes. to do help. And uh, the total Pell approval came in at $9,250. Okay. And uh, subtracting that, it would leave, and if she is able to receive the uh, approval for her service request for Eagle Gate of the $5,500, it would still leave her a balance owing of um, $20,000. $20,250 wow. and we did discuss I discussed with her what that means is if she is um, you know going to at six months usually after you graduate that you are expected to start making a repayment on your uh, student right, loans. Right, right, okay. So what is the approval level for district director, the 5,500, correct? That's yes. all that could be approved uh, on that. that. Well, that was the prorated amount. Let's see, district okay. re director okay. level. Uh, I wish I would have put the 18-month uh, the, um, um, amount. The okay. $5,500 is the prorated amount based on the 11 months that are remaining in her program. So, so basically, Kim is asking for fifty five hundred. Yeah. That's what she's asking. Okay. Um, I assume you have copies of pro of at least her transcript up to this point. Yes, her cumulative GPA is three point oh. So uh, okay. it is, but it is coming up. It's actually going in the in the right direction, and it's a. It was amazing to me to get that back and for the documentation for the file um, okay. the level three that you okay. mentioned the vocational evaluation come back with a grade equivalent of about fifth grade but uh, yeah. she has successfully been bringing her GPA up and right now the cumulative overall okay. GPA is okay. 3.0 okay Between your discussions with Kim and yourself, do you feel so? Basically, you and Kim have kind of talked about, you know, the progress that she's made, and she is doing fairly well in 
her training and you feel confident that she would be successful in this training program and be able to obtain employment in the future, right? I do. They, we, she has provided us with uh, a lot of documentation with regards to her vocational goal. We did a lot of um, a lot of vocational planning and exploration prior to the 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 writing of this service request, um, and then we're still we still are needing to add some more information to it as as you have uh, asked for. Right. And I noticed that you have, so I appreciate that information. So what I'll do is I'll go over the um, service request, review it again, and then provide anything, feedback, and I'll let you know. So I appreciate you explaining a little bit more, clarifying what you were talking about here. You Thanks. Well, thank it. you, Kelly. I appreciate it. Thanks.